Hey guys, Achilles here, and I'm going to give you a little rundown on the new game I'm playing, Path of Exile. Kind of stopped playing Diablo. Guess there's not really going to be that much interest in PvP, and it's still just kind of the same game, all you're going to do is just grind out the rest of your Paragon levels. So, I'm moving on, at least for now, and playing this game. And it's pretty much the same. It's the same aspect, it's an action RPG. Stuff the different difficulties uh, that you go through. You play through the different acts, and you do it again on a harder difficulty. Normal, cool, and merciless, though, in this game. There's only three instead of four, like in Diablo 3. <coughs> I'm still playing. I'm learning. This is brand new, or I just started playing. So I'm still learning as I go along. I'm still in normal mode. I haven't even gotten quite to cool yet. That's all right. So anyway, a little bit on the gear. The way that the gear and your abilities work is you have to have your gear sockets match the color of the skills that you want to use. And then there's also support gems, that you'll learn more about that later, that amplify and increase what your other abilities do, but your gear has to have links in between them. Like see the boots here, the top part's linked but the bottom's not. So that gem doesn't get the effect of that, but I don't have a support gem in there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, also, there's no gold in this game, unlike in Diablo. I really like that. The item system is amazing. Hello. You take items, and you trade them in, and there you go. And you get items in return. And then these items do different things. They improve your armor. Make them from a normal to a rare, etc. Increase the quality of them. Um, you know, all kinds of things. You can take a rare and wipe it clean and then make it into a new one if you want. You can take a rare and change its tributes, its suffixes, and affixes. You can use uh, chaos orbs for that. So sweet. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, wow. Can't see my bank. Oh, there it is. <coughs> anyway. Yeah. All those stuff. Okay. So. And then one more thing where I show you a little gameplay is this is the talent tree. It's called a passive skill tree. And you start in different respective areas for each class. There's a witch, shadow, ranger, duelist, marauder, and a templar. And they all start respectively in those areas. So I started with shadow class. I'm a hybrid between a which, which is a magic caster and a ranger, which is obviously like a hunter type class, and so I'm between the two. Pretty cool so far. I like it. So I'll show you a little bit. I'll go over here. Actually, you know what this place is the low level. So I'm going to go up over here. <coughs> All right. Let me show you a little bit of the fighting and how it works. I'm playing a hardcore mode, so if I die, then I get kicked down to. And like, unlike in Diablo, you don't just lose your character forever; it's not deleted permanently. You get kicked down to what's called a softcore lead, your default lead. It's you know just uh, just like the normal mode on Diablo 3, except if you start on hardcore, then at least you can keep playing your character afterwards. If you so want, it's not a complete waste of time if you happen to die. I haven't died yet. I have a guy at level 34, and uh, this guy is at level 27 currently. I kind of started over because you don't really get a respec of points very easily after you start getting into it, and that's kind of the point. I guess they want people to just kind of play and learn and figure it out as you go, and then uh, they would rather have you just start a whole new character and do it again, you know, and have better results. So I figure I might as well play on hardcore mode too. And if I die, well then obviously I didn't do something right. You know? Uh, go back and do it again and move on it. See what I did wrong. Yeah, I'm just going around killing some guys. I'm, there's different quests and stuff to do. I gotta go over here and kill this big monster and pick up the spike and then return it to the town. And then I can turn it in for a quest reward, which is usually uh, gem skills. Yeah, man, this game is so much fun, man. You got all these different abilities. You got like, these poison arrows. I'm using all these traps. These traps I gotta throw around. Oh, oh. Boom! So sweet. So much fun. I almost dare say it's better than Diablo 3. And you know what? The best part's free. It's free. Just go download it. It's free. Wow, why, why wouldn't you play this? 
So good. So good. Alright, I'm gonna write down. So, uh, yeah, that's my little video for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe below if you want. Uh, I'll be streaming on Twitch as much as I can here. Probably pretty much about six, seven hours a day. I don't have a set schedule yet, but that'll be coming soon. And, uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. Enjoy.